Shikil. Thank you. Thank you. Hello and welcome to NB Drives. Today is the first day of the Atal Yatra. I am at the Ambassador Hotel. You can see my ride for this trip is behind me. And I'm going to be setting off to Naruman Point, which is the starting point. It's only about five minutes away. And uh, yeah, it's an early start. It's about 6.30 in the morning. And there are going to be many more earlier starts for this trip. So uh, I'll catch you at Naruman Point. <laughs> starting location at Naruman point and there is a crowd gathered to send me off <laughs> this is the view out of the iconic Naruman point it's the queen's necklace down there that is all of Marine Drive. It's a good morning. All set for its 6,000 plus kilometers of road trip. Atal Yatra ready to get underway. What's a petrol head, man? Let's. That is. Atal Yatra! Atal Yatra! Features! Features! This is the state of NH48 right now. I'm on the way out of Mumbai. Well, I am out of Mumbai. On my way to Ahmedabad and I'm going at about 10 kph. There is plenty of road work happening right now. So, that is the situation and the maps are saying it's gonna go on for a while apologies for the noise but this is my lunch stop at Baruch we have reached about two-thirds of the way to Ahmedabad and uh, I'll give you a more detailed update inside. This is how the car looks right now. There you go. It's been great so far. So, I'm 
I'm almost done with day one's driving and uh, I'm on the last bit of expressway road that is heading into Ahmedabad. I'm about uh, 90 odd kilometers away. The Google Maps is telling me about 1 hour 30 minutes to get there and uh, so far the journey has been pretty good. Uh, apart from a little bit of traffic I got on the way out like after I left Bombay, uh, as I was getting close to the Gujarat border because of the roadworks there. And uh, besides that, I think more or less it's been a very smooth ride. I've uh, made time on what the GPS uh, was calculating. I made up about half an hour at my lunch stop, which was at Baruch. And uh, so far, it seems like I've made up about half an hour to what it was estimating my arrival time in Ahmedabad would be as well which was 6 o'clock it's showing about 5 30 right now and if that does work out i am definitely going to be going to the uh, sabarmati ashram which is uh, located in central Ahmedabad and uh, there's a lot of historical significance to the site so hopefully fingers crossed i get there in time and i can show you guys around and talk a little more about it I have made it to the Gandhi Ashram in Ahmedabad which is also known as the Sabarmati Ashram as it is located on the banks of the Sabarmati river which you can see here. Gorgeous sunset and they've really done up the promenade here. Uh, I just went in for a quick museum tour because it's shutting. I just about made it in time. This is the residence area here. I'll show you some more details. And uh, also the museum was uh, quite well laid out and very informative with all the stuff that you would want to know about Gandhiji as he is one of the most uh, recognizable Indian names worldwide. And he's done so much for our country. So the history is really interesting to delve into and also the living quarters that are back there. It's very interesting to see how simple his life was. Now, uh, Ahmedabad has a really rich history and culture uh, as there's a lot that's happened here. One other thing that uh, Gandhiji ended up doing from here is the start of the iconic and really helpful Dandi March for us. Uh, which was started right here in Ahmedabad and we all know that was to go get salt without taxation so big big steps and uh, that was also a big journey that originated from this city itself so I'll show you guys a little bit around the museum and uh, I think I'll catch up with you guys in uh, the hotel. Ahmedabad is also known as the Manchester of India that is for its textiles and it's one of two cities that are known as the Manchester of India. I will be traveling to the second one which is uh, Kanpur that will come later on in my trip so it's interesting to know that both the cities have the same nickname and uh, yeah right now this entire ashram area is looking so tranquil with such few people around and uh, the sun setting just over there it's looking quite nice i love the gradient on the sky and this is as quiet as you could probably ever find the ashram which is a little unfortunate but uh, you can understand why there's so much history here so much to know so much to imbibe so i'm very glad i got to experience it for my one day here
We are at uh, Sabar Mati right now. Yeah. So this is my room for tonight in Ahmedabad. This is Welcome Hotel by ITC. So nice room little desk which i'm definitely gonna need right now because i am going to be uh editing a little bit and that is the view out don't think you can see a whole lot right now but the river is down that way Okay guys, I'm gonna be winding up the video for today. I think I've had a fairly long day and uh, I just need to get a little bit of rest. I'll actually get a little bit of editing done before I uh, relax for the evening. It is about 7 o'clock and uh, I reached the hotel about 15 minutes back. Um, got all the check-in procedure and everything done. So. All in all, uh, a little recap on the route, it's been about 560 odd kilometers of driving and uh, most of it has been pretty good. My Odo is showing 560 from Nariman point that is, to here. And uh, it's been uh, good roads apart from maybe a little bit of uh, stretch, about 30-40 odd kilometers outside uh, like near the Maharashtra border, Maharashtra and Gujarat border that's because they're doing roadworks, expanding it so half the road was shut and that was some slow speeds but uh, apart from that it's been quite um, easy and uh, seamless to get the entire journey done and uh, if you look at total number of hours, 12 hours to uh, do the entire road trip plus do a little bit of sightseeing out here and check in I think that's a pretty decent uh, time frame so I will leave you guys at that and uh, I will catch up with you tomorrow for the next episode so then cheers